everyone. Hello, my beautiful people. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you for following and subscribing and um, giving me comments. I hope my channel will grow because I have so many things to share with you. And by the way, my part one of traveling in my favorite hotel in Punta Cana Majestic Mirage is already out. So you're more than welcome to check it out. I talk about this hotel. I talk is if it's change if it's the same and part two is also coming and if you don't know me my name is Angelica I'm 45 years old I'm also a dance instructor who loves to dance and teach and my channel is about skincare hairstyle traveling as I mentioned before uh, rating of restaurant fashion and obviously makeup colorful makeup with a new touch and as you know I'm doing a marathon about different looks so so far I did blue look green look smoky eyes purple one of my favorite and today guess what look I'm doing today yes I'm doing an orange look today can't wait so stay tuned and let's start to create look with me and chat a little bit let's create a look and I have nothing on my face except my uh, lipstick so I'm going to tell you at the end what I use and I am going to use today new primer from Alensky and it's a banana bright face primer instantly illuminates hydrate improves foundation wear all day with vitamin C never tried before going to try with you this is the box and this is how it look like and my and box is already on the floor so I have and nothing I just have my uh, you know skincare routine in the morning so basically it's nothing else and look it has a, like a yellowish color and the consistency is like a light I would say medium light cream so let's put that it smells citrusy it smells like vitamin c Oops. let's see how it is and i'm going to update with this primer if i like see how it's my foundation is going to behave in and you know during the day and look it's instant illuminating yes it is look how glowy i am and you know i like that it's remind me of Korean primer that I always talk about it so this is how it is it's just feel very hydrated it's nice feeling to be honest and today I'm going to use my BB cream which also I absolutely love it and I told you you have to be careful even during the winter if you have a lot of sun we normally have a lot of sun here in Toronto not lately unfortunately but normally when you drive in the car the sun is really strong even sometimes I feel it's stronger than in the summer so this BB uh, shimmering uh, Amina shimmering they have different wine they have it for oily skin uh, they have a different per but you know me I like with shimmers but it's nothing to do it's no shimmers inside I'm going to show you in a second and what I like is SPF 45 plus it's brand Holika Holika really affordable very loving it's normally if I wear, wear it without anything like without this primer it doesn't really give me like it's it's give me natural glow nothing crazy so let's see if how it's going to behave so where's my sponge so as you know I like to display my foundation or BB like in this case with my finger I know a lot of you don't like to do that but I just prefer this way first of all I think it doesn't eat product that much and normally I display if I have some imperfection I will put it right there and then go over with my uh, sponge after or after if it's not enough I will go with I want just you to see how great is this BB cream and don't think that this BB cream will not give you a coverage it will give you I would say a medium a light medium but more to medium side I would say coverage depends also how much you use and you see I use it not as much and don't forget it will give you a protection SPF 45 by the way this one is has SPF 45 the other has a less SPF so that's the other reason I like some people think SPF 30 is enough so here we go but if you live somewhere where is a very strong Sun I think this is the better option for you and if you know 
to get rid of or sun damage is very very difficult so be careful i turned 40 i think even before that i always try to be in the sheet i always try to cover my face but i, I love to tan but i have to be careful because i'm pretty fair so if i don't put spf i will burn and then what's the point i will just shade after very fast so look at this it still give me a shine so that definitely primer is eliminate your skin born this way Too face and it's multi-use sculpting concealer and my color is vanilla so let's use this i haven't used it i haven't used it for a while so i was surprised uh it's been a long time i used to love this one but when i start to you know try another concealer and make sure that i give you the full opinion so i've been using i forgot about this concealer and this is a very good concealer honestly it's a great concealer i already primed my eyes so what i want to do right now to show you what uh palettes i'm going to use so i grabbed three palettes to create an orange look and i'm thinking i'm going to do orange and maybe i have to use some darker color so i'm going to see maybe it's going to be like dark brown or something like that so the main i think is going to be this uh palette because it's a newest palette so you can still buy it it's bella beauty bar cosmetics it's a pastel garden color story i mean and this here we go orange i actually can use it with uh some of the yellow i think that will be a good idea so then i grab another two palettes this is all this palettes from whatever i show you this is from odin's eye and this is gata of uh frere it's a cat breath palette and it has a beautiful color over here orange so maybe i'll use some of this colors we will see and i grab another palette in case i'm very bad <laughs> grabbing a lot of palettes but again it's optional this palette i grabbed from cleona cosmetic uh deep sea treasure one of my favorite very high in the list and i grabbed this palette because of the one color over here it's called fire of ring of fire is this color which i absolutely it's like honestly it's so gorgeous it's really like a fire orange so i grab this color in case if i want to enhance but i don't know we will see and maybe i can use some of this darker color we will see so let me just show you how this concealer are and i told you this concealer is gorgeous it's just the color i think this vanilla color no it's okay i thought maybe it's a bit i need a little bit a lighter but no when i display that's why i like this color when i display i think it's become okay i was i was afraid if it's giving me a little bit of yellow undertone but not i could really forget how this concealer is look to be honest i told you don't forget to check my um trip the one i did part one in my in the majestic mirage photo on inclusive i work so hard to create this video and part two is coming very soon or maybe it's even out by the time i put this video who knows and look at this it's still i'm talking about the primer i really enjoyed this primer wow alien's case so far it's good it's impressed me so i'm going to use elf setting spray right now i like to do it between before i put my bronzer and everything at this setting spray i really obsessed this is a coconut one i already almost finished and i already bought another one it's a uh, coconut setting mist a long lasting and i really enjoy it let's do bronzer i brought today what bronzer i brought today rare beauty and my color is happy soul and as i told you rare beauty is you i you i will use it so fast so this is how much i i uh, have left and i didn't use much this stick because i had another bronzer which i want to do review i kind of at the beginning when i bought this stick i used it a lot and then i stopped why i'm telling you that because i think this rare beauty you use it very fast you need it plenty and you use it fast it's seven mil here just be aware about that i'm going to use a brush and this is a refer of four i like to use with the brush 
or with a sponge but I think when you use this bronzer with a, a brush it doesn't eat that much color because this color is pretty light for me I mean it's nice but you need to put more if you want to do more intense and as I told you another bronzer LYS I have another color and it's you need a less to put uh, to get a bronzier look so that's why I said the other bronzer will last me long but again they're all beautiful I like them both this I think it's easy because it's forgiven color and the other one I told you I'm obsessed about Chanel bronzer which I told you it says 15 grams which you need to buy two of those and the price is good because we have a lot of products. I have two blush. One of them, the old blush, it's from Too Faced. I don't know if they have it. I don't think they have this anymore. Sweethearts. So this is the color. I'm sure probably is not exist. Look how gorgeous is this. So I'm planning to use this. And the one I absolutely love, I told you about this um, blush a lot that I'm really obsessed from ColourPop and the color is So Popeyes. this is more like a I would say coral the other one is more orangey because it has different shade there so I want to mix them okay. up so. and you will see how this color look by itself and then I will mix it up with another one so you will have an idea this is how it is a look like and of course you can do as intense you want so I don't want that much like I want it, but I, 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 you know, I told about blush. I love blushes, but I don't like when the blush is screaming. I love the blush refresh you. Sometimes I overdo it. And you know, you see how little I need, like really little. And now I'm going to go with this blush to face and look how gorgeous is this. I so want to use basically this too. I don't want to use this color. So I'm just grabbing over here and it's sparkle too. And I'm just going to give that a little bit more orangey goldish look. So look, this is more corally. It's still, but it gives this reflection of orange and gold. So that's why I want to mix today. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of blush. My absolutely favorite from Guerlain um, powder. And this is um, what it's called meteorites yes meteorites my number is two so we have this beautiful uh, pearls inside I talk about this uh, powder a lot because I am over 40 I don't like powder I'm not a uh, friendly losing powder girl so because it's dry I have a combined dry skin so as soon as I put any powder it start to see my texture so I don't like it but this powder is amazing because it's illumination and it's also correcting your imperfection like it's a corrector because it has all these different colors so I love a lot so if I see I for example want to settle my look or I glow like oil <laughs> or something like too much it's look like it's oily I just grab a face powder and the other one I found it I like it's um, is it makeup forever I think so I use it in my channel I have a small one some not it's not sample it's a mini so I really absolutely love that one it's white very white and when you put it it's really modified that spots so I really enjoy that one as well. So this is two so far I can use. The other one like Huda Beauty. I don't like. I have a fancy one. The older one I don't like. It's just sitting there. I'm, I used to use it. And then I keep noticing that my texture is not good. Especially under eyes. So I stopped. So this so far it's amazing. Amazing uh, product which give you a natural glow. I still glowing, but not as crazy glowing. It's like a subtle glow right now. So let's start with this palette, the Pastel Garden. Okay, I think at the beginning I will do something light and that's why I will going to use some of the light colors, but then I'm going to mix it up, of course, with the orange one. So the first things I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this color, which is called 
uh, day lily and I'm going to put it in, at the beginning of my eye and it doesn't really do much it's like too light so what I'm going to go I'm just going to mix with this color which is next to her, next to it and it's called Archangel so we're just going to give a little bit yellowish like this okay. now I'm going to do one eye and then also I do that way because when I do the second eye I do the shorts so if you don't want to watch my old video when I chat and you know uh, give you all details how I do it you can always go for shorts which is one minute of your time and check it out the look I create uh, the same look I create for today okay so we did that now I'm going to go with these two colors so I'm going to start with this and then I will mix it up with this color so the lightest one is called Barilina Tulip and the the one is darker is called Color Bell but first so, we grab this lighter one and I'm going to go with over here like that very 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 nice and a light color so I'm planning to use the other palette as well so there is a very orange color very dark one so maybe I'm going to use it for my low lash let's see so so far we're using one palette and this palette is I think right now is available if I'm not or pre-order or something like that but I really enjoy all these shimmers over here uh, are gorgeous okay we're going to go with this darker coral one I told you and I'm going to just put it at the end of my eye to mix a little bit with the other color like that and if I need to add a deepness I will go with another color which is from the other palette the cut breast palette from Odin's eye okay what else I want to talk I'm just come back to the lighter color and I'm just going to more build it up that color I am again. waiting for new palettes to do a review and the one is coming soon is from Namad Cosmetics which I told you I have only one palette so I decided to buy that palette uh, the last palette that it's one has uh, my favorite multi-chromes and it has a contrast so I'm looking forward to do review so I'm just using these two colors back and forth so and then I ordered just yesterday because I don't know when I'm going to post this video but it was lunch yesterday the other palette from Bella Beauty Barn which one my absolutely one of the favorite uh, right now indie brand including Cleona, including Odin's Eye. So this is all my favorite. Uh, and also I like Ansley Ray, but it's pretty expensive. So I ordered the Death Valentine Rose. palette, which called... I really love that color story. So I'm looking forward, but this palette, I'm sure I have to wait a little bit. So already people did, you know, the one who is in the PR list, YouTubers, they did already review for both of the palettes I ordered, but I am looking forward. I want to have it in my collection, honestly. And uh, I know that Namad is a great, you know, quality. I know Bella Beauty Bar is a great quality. So we'll see. You will see. They like it. I already, see, of course, I already saw the reviews. And okay, that's so far so good. Pretty orangey. Also, so, I forgot. Maybe that is going to be the first. From Colourpop, I ordered the Valentine collection. They have my favorite blushes, the new one. Uh, they have um, uh, hard blushes. I ordered only one color because it looks like they're all kind of similar. Like, really, really no much different between the three colors. And it's a new formula, actually. And it's... Uh, it's not a powder it's a creamy one so i'm very excited to see how i will like it do would I, if i like more powder or i like more creamy one i'm looking forward and also i order duochrome liner from ColourPop, which absolutely gorgeous and um all of them i order all of them i order like they have a set 
So at the beginning I was ordering, okay, maybe this, 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 and then I'm thinking, I like all of them, so let me order all of them. And I ordered the palette, the palette, uh, the one for Valentine's. And I think it's, I don't know the, the name of the palette, Love Palette or something. So I'm looking forward to do review for that palette. So three palettes is coming I'm way to go with this darker shade from the palette I told you, Odin's Eye, the Cat Breath. And I want to use this beautiful bright shade orange, which called Warmth. And I want to dip it up my corner over here. So I'm just going to go like that. Okay, let me just go closer to you so you will see. And kind of brighten it up a little bit that corner. Dip it up, I would say. And then after, I want to go with um, this dark shade, brown, like that. And after, I'm going to mix a bit with that orange one. So I'm just going to drag like that. I'm going to go over here. Okay, about the weather here. It's now warmer. Everybody was asking me if you guys are freezing in Toronto. No, we're not freezing anymore. Actually, it's like now it's raining and cloudy. So it's not a very pleasant. But it's better than it was freezing cold and very very cold wind so when wind was cold and so strong it feels like it's minus 20 or something so right now it's good it's not cold at all so we kind of happy but i don't like when it's no sun i like sun a lot i'm sure everybody do I'm not only one who loves sun. So what I did, I create kind of as a wing. So I went low lash and then I just create a bigger wing. So I'm just display that to kind of have the accent in my edge of my eye. Like I used before, I want to come back to the coral. No, to this one first, the lighter one. And I'm just going to kind of blend this edge where we have and then I'm going to go with this one where this brown start I want to blend it out to kind of have a less a less accent so I'm just mixing up and like that it's not bad okay that's good that's good enough okay now we have so many options with our uh, shades over here and definitely one of the shades I want to use something like this or lighter and then in the middle I will go with something darker so I'm thinking <laughs> between this and this but because it's an orange color today or even this one sunset rose let me just watch it it's actually but it's kind of silver yeah it is orange you see I don't know if you can see it and this one yeah, definitely this one is orange. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this. Spray the brush and I'm going to go kind of at the beginning of my eye with that color. Like that. And this palette and these colors I know is the best way to use your fingers. Right. To be, You will see. You see? Straight away. And then I will use my brush. Look at this, like a fire. Such a gorgeous color. The brush, special room refer. It's a 21. It is for this reason, for the all these multi-chromes and shimmers. But fingers still the best, in my opinion. But there's a lot of people who doesn't like to use fingers, so they use a brush and they spray. I hate that. So, but sometimes I do it, the fire one from this palette. Okay, for you, if you don't have this many palettes, you can use whatever shimmer you have. Try to use a lighter here and darker here. That's my opinion. And this color you can use with the brush, it's going to appear. So I'm going to put it right here. Look, that's really a fire 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 and why i decided to use these colors today in this pulse because this palette is available so you can easily grab 
whatever if you like today what you see and you or you like the colors and you think you're going to use it so yes if you if you think you're going to use it definitely grab it if you think you're not going to use it don't grab it <laughs> that's what i am always tell the people if you're not using that palette don't bother okay so what i want to do remember i told you i want to use this color the darker one so it's shifting it's very dark it has a dark base so if i'm going to go and continue it will be very nice with this brown it's called sheep shipwreck so i'm going to grab this and it's all of this color is special color it's multi-chromes so i'm just going to go and i'm going to go over this brown just deepen up more so and i create this very deep kind of look so i want to it. use from here a yellow undertone for here so i think i'm going to go with this one so before i go i'm going to grab this um this color we used it before which is bright yellow and just going to go like that and then i'm going to go with this color which is called japanese rose and i'm just going to drag like that now color this I one the one i use it over here where is it over here this one on my low one let's do that look now i really spray it and it's working you see here we go from kind and of orangey just going to grab a little bit i'm going to put right on top like that and then i'm going to grab this color the one i use it for my low one just line a little bit here that's it i think that's more than enough for today <laughs> look at this so, again i think it's pretty orangey so we have a little bit of uh darkers uh mixing like a dark base multi-chrome with brown but it's nothing dramatic to be honest and we have a little bit of yellow but the rest is all orangey undertone more corally or more orangey one so let me finish and i will come back and i will show you my final result of orange look okay this is my final look so check it out what i did uh, i used today three palettes right but main palette was this palette pastel garden and i really like this palette the only things i like to use the shimmers with my fingers i think is the best way then next i went with this palette from modern size i used two i think i used the bright uh, orange and uh, this one from and I this one i use also two colors one is obviously my favorite the, the ring of fire which is absolutely gorgeous is right here and i use this with darker uh dark base color which is kind of almost like a black but this uh purplish so i use it with the uh dipping up my um brown color so i went over it and then also i use a little bit of black liner and that's what gives this like a little bit darker with a twist a little liners bit. So if you want your liner be a lighter or brighter, you use the white liner, which in my case is my absolutely favorite elf liner, uh, Cookies and Dreams called. And a look at this. I mean, it's last you forever. It's a, such an amazing color and it has a sharpener in the back. I talk about this liner um, a lot of times. And this one, I don't know, I have Alto Lip NK Makeup some cheap liner i have but it's such a good liner as orange because my um narvina one liner is actually dry up so this is still good so sometimes it doesn't matter if it's cheap it's good so i went with this one and then i went over with this color let's do quickly highlighter palette which i absolutely love in it and the reason i bought this highlighter because one of the highlighter has this kind of orangey goldish undertone look at this one beautiful this is one of my favorite it has a very blending consistency 
so it's called the sun so let's try this so i'm grabbing normally i like to use other brush but i didn't bring you can really grab it look at this shift absolutely adore this i absolutely love this color is the smoothest color from the whole palette so i'm going to for my nose i'm going to use the gold one or bronzy one and that's it we're done for my lips i use for my waterline i use this liner first then i went with the color pop the bumble my absolutely favorite this lip lipstick and this one an older lipstick it's called it's from annabelle twist up and my color is also bumble that's so funny look at this this is the color it's like a more orange i have another one but it was more coral color so i decided to go with this and then i went with sephora uh, this lip gloss and i talk about this lip gloss many many times i have this color and i have another one like a darker uh, burgundy like a pinkish but darker one this is amazing amazing lip gloss i can't even tell you how good is this and my color is fun flamingo a beautiful uh, texture for this lip gloss a very very glossy and um, it's called gel gloss ultra brilliant that's why i think that's one it's made in france so beautiful applicator over here look at this smells so gorgeous like a candy and very very glossy i really love this gloss this is the only thing from sephora i think I like so when Sephora has 30% off you can grab it I think that's it this is my orange look for today I hope you enjoy also don't forget to like and subscribe also don't forget to check my shorts if you don't want to go through all video you just want to be quick quick one minute it's there most of my look I create I do shorts I explain it to you already and I think that's it so i think my marathon is going to come to the end because i am getting other palettes three of them so we will see if i'm going to create one more look which i don't know because i told you i did already many many looks maybe it's going to be a multi-chrome like a rainbow one the last one i don't know so you tell me what you want me to create maybe pink look i don't know tell me and i think that's it thank you very much again to support me to my channel uh and to be with me to stay till end of this video thank you very much that you're spending your treasure time and i see you soon in my new videos пока пока bye bye have a wonderful and beautiful day depends where you